We're headed to the Dead Sea to fix Ulysses' old bones. <laughs> that black mud was said to work wonders. We'd gone the long way to avoid people. I hated humans. I hated a lot of things. My name is Jericho, and this is my story. Does anybody know where we are? Where is he this time? I told you not to do that. Look what happened. I am not going one more step until that big hulk stops harassing me. Miguel, you've got us lost again. Lost? <laughs> not lost. Then where are we? I know exactly where we are, Mr. Smarty Pants Jericho. <laughs> we are right here. Oh, let's go back to Egypt or Phoenicia or Mesopotamia. We had such a cozy little cave there. We roam because we have no home. Because you hate humans, which I do not. Because... Quiet. <laughs> what is it? Camels? Goats? Spices? <laughs> and humans. But there are ways off yet. Miguel, where are you? You said you could get us there without running into humans. I like you too, but... I've been gooped. You are so annoying. So, what about these humans? Oh, please. There can't be that many of them. <laughs> oh, no. We're turning back right now. I know where we are now. We just cut across the valley to get back to our road. Absolutely not. Our pack had come together because we were all misfits. All of us broken in some way. Well, as long as we don't have to go into any cities. It was the time of Passover. The roads were filled with Jews, Gentiles, Romans, and traders from every nation. You see that fancy colored stuff? Well, that's silk from China. Yeah, I know because... My name is Petra, and I'm a desert hedgehog. Oh, and this slimy little thing is Miguel. He's from far, far away in Hispania, and he knows everything because he traveled everywhere with his old master, a Roman officer, who dumped him because he was so annoying. Oh? And that big hairy guy is Ulysses. Some very bad men kidnapped him from his home in Tibet, way high in the mountains, and made him fight with lions in the Hippodrome in Jerusalem. But he escaped into the wilderness, and we found him, and Ulysses, then we... the Tibetan god of slobber! <coughs> oh!
is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Come on, the road's clear. We have to cross now. Oh, and that big bad dog is your Uncle Jericho. His bark is much worse than his bite. He hides from the world because he feels bad. Not like you, you happy baby boo. Oh, who's the cutest? Oh, oh cutest? no, 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 no. We are not keeping her. She's so young. We'll have to get her back to her mother or she'll die. Uh, that caravan is headed for Jerusalem, along with a zillion humans. Look, just leave her in the road and someone else will find her. Ah, oh, yes. It is very risky for dogs in Jerusalem. Uh, did you know, actually, a <laughs> very interesting story. In Egypt, they actually worship dogs, yeah, especially those tall, skinny ones, yeah. But in Judea, dogs are dragged off the streets to no one knows where. I remember a certain puppy who wouldn't have lived if someone hadn't helped him. Oh, of course you know everything. Why won't you ever tell me the whole story? This is not the time. It's never the time. Ever since I could remember, Petra had been my adopted mom. I had awful nightmares about what happened before then, but the dreams always came in bits and pieces and never made any sense. Petra refused to tell me what really happened. Jerusalem was bad for me. If I can go there to help the young one, then so can you. What are you so scared about? Okay, okay. I just know I'm gonna regret this, big time. Oh, I think I'll call you Dim Sum. Oh, we have to see where the camels go. Let's get this over with. Ah, oh, Jerusalem. Passover finds it a city of both joyous celebration and ominous unrest. Israelites and Romans locked together in a timeless battle. Anyone mind if I goop that annoying lizard? No time for fun, Ulysses. Just get us where we're going, please. Are these farm animals? No, they're for sacrifice. What's that? Humans want their sins forgiven, you see. And they believe that killing animals gets that job done with God. Some say that's not what God wants at all. And others just get rich selling the animals. Oh, that's terrible. Let's go. The sooner we dump that pup, the sooner we're out of here. Wake her up. But she has to rest. And we've walked all night and all day. Well, we can't stay here. The humans will be back soon. And we can't carry her around half asleep. She looks too weird. Oh, hey, try the water tunnels under the city. Good place to hide, the strays tell me. There's an entrance just a couple of streets over. <sighs> OK, I'll check it out. All of you just stay out of sight till I get back. We'll be fine. Oh, and get out of the city before the gates close tonight. That's when Psychosis does his work. In the dark. Gets a bounty for every doggy carcass. Or he sells the ones he keeps alive. And he loves his work. So sad, this world. So sad. Why, hello, beautiful. Say, is that a cashmere jacket? Because it looks fabulous on you. So, did I ever tell you that I am a real-life hero? Well, I am. Anyway, enough about me. What do you think of me? Yeah. 
To the people of Jerusalem, street dogs were as lowly as lepers and beggars, and all things unclean. I was legal prey for the demented psychosis, whose only job was to catch and destroy dogs like me. Still, have compassion for animals, my young friend. We are all God's creatures. Jesus? The people are calling for you. Can I come with you? Wake up! Wake up! Come on, everybody! I let us sleep too long! We've got to get out of the city before they lock the gates! Oh, oh my... This is not good. Not good! We're sitting ducks out here! Just keep moving. What the... <laughs> Any bright ideas? Up. Well, don't just sit there.
job done right. You got to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so dead. <laughs> Say what? You want moi to save you from the bad guys? <laughs> it sounds like a job for Miguel, the Magnificent. Oh, come on, come on, get it up, please. Just put one hoof in front of the other. Like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, I could draw you a diagram, but that would take too long. <laughs> Saved your worthless lives! Now, how about Great Chameleon, Miguel the Great? Pretty good, huh? Big voice, little guy. What now? Find another gate? They'll all be closed by now. Back to the tunnels? Remember, you filthy flea bags. I hate to lose. To lose is to die. Get ready to join the other mongrels in the mound. <laughs> I showed them who's boss. They think twice before messing with moi, the macho muchacho. My name is Maya. And you're welcome in my home. You're quite safe here. This palace belongs to a Roman general, and no one dares challenge his authority. Please, rest now. I'll bring food. At that moment, everything changed to revenge. I finally had a target for my rage. <laughs> oh, you all want to talk. At least I'm not munching on a bark beetle. I've been patrolling this place all night. The sooner we get out of here, the better. We need somewhere to hide Dim Sum and Petra while we go on a mommy hunt. I'm not coming with you? No, 
They'll just slow us down. Why can't we just stay here? Out of the question. Humans live here. So, we stayed here last night, didn't get any goodies. Uh, I don't mean to interfere, but no place in Jerusalem is as safe as this garden. Petra and Dimmy can stay here while we look for Dimmy's mother. Thanks and all that, but uh, we can't possibly put you at risk. Oh, Jericho, don't be so mean. See my collar? It means I'm owned by the Roman general. Well, he owns me, but his servant Ariana loves me. Enormous difference. So you see, any human who harms an animal with this collar would be in a great deal of trouble. Besides, I could outrun you in a heartbeat. <laughs> Not likely. And psychosis rarely comes out in daylight. I'll protect you. <laughs> You're not... Petra, do you think you and Dimmy would be comfortable here today? Why, of course, dear. Then it's settled. I've been thinking, since the puppy is from China, the people who trade in Chinese goods might know something. Mm. If you like, I could take you to those shops and we'll ask around. Oh, it's closed. Actually, they only open for important humans. Chinese things are very expensive. Young dim sum is probably worth a fortune. We must be careful. Oh. See, works like a charm. All out of smart ideas. We haven't even started asking what the strays might know. That's a big job. And we could uh, ask around at the hippodrome. I remember there were lots of exotic animals there. Not many who fight there are so gentle afterwards. He doesn't like to talk about it. There's no need to go there yet. I'm sure the strays will know something if we talk to enough of them. I'd just be in your way with my rudeness and all. It's settled then. Jericho, it's such a short way back to the garden. I'm sure you'll be fine on your own. We'll see you at home later. Ulysses, shall we? Home? That is not my home. I don't live where humans live. I don't... Suddenly, I was furious with Petra. She'd known all along. I didn't have to go through all those years of nightmares and fear. I had to find out why she'd made me suffer. Ha <laughs> And back, me friends, is how I, Miguel, saved the world from the pirates once again. It's time for a potty break. Oh, just a little walk for me. I'm a mother. I live only to see you finally happy and settled down somewhere. I didn't even know I was born in Jerusalem, much less what really happened to my family. Why didn't you just tell me? 
Your heart remembers things when it's ready to heal. You weren't ready. Oh, like I am now? We only came here because your new child is that stupid baby puppy. You, you don't care about me anymore. And now who sounds like a baby? Grow up, Jericho. You're certainly ready for that. I can't be here anymore. My heart was bleeding. The night closed around me. I woke to sounds of a crowd outside, and I heard a familiar voice. He was saying, I have come into this world as a light, so no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. His words eased my pain. I wanted to love that man, but I didn't know how. I just couldn't let go. So that's Maya's human, Ariana. Hmm. Where's Ulysses? Bubble! Jericho, <laughs> yeah, you should try this, really. I'd rather eat worms. Hey, what's wrong with worms? Oh, that was mine. You are so annoying. Yeah, you are disgusting. <clears throat> oh my! Oh, oh. oh yeah! Oh, please, come on! I said I don't do water. Oh yeah! <laughs> You're next. Nope. No, thank you. I've lived this long without a bath. That explains a lot. What? Ew! Stinky! Oh, her first word. Uncle Jericho is stinky. Now, now. Uh, no, 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 no. Really, it's... Uh, no, I, I, I don't... <laughs> Wee! This is fun. <laughs> ah, you smell pretty. Ah. Such handsome gentlemen. Who would have guessed it? Okay, let's get a move on. Can I come today, too, and dim sum? Then anyone we ask can see what kind of a dog we're looking for. Absolutely not. It's too dangerous. Not if you're with me in broad daylight. Maya, uh, maybe you would know this. I heard that psychosis doesn't always kill the strays, that he sells some of them. Is that true? Yes. Some are sold as guard dogs, herding dogs, fighting dogs for the games, or for war. And, uh, what did he mean when he said he would put us in... in the mound? <gasps> what is this place? It's where they bury the stray dogs. A sad place. The whole mound? Why don't you go on ahead to the Hippodrome? I just want to stay around here a while by myself.
It was Jesus. But this time I was angry. He may have healed me, but where was he when they killed my family? I wanted to hurt him, as I had been hurt. But when I looked into his eyes, I knew. This man was not to blame for the death of my family. This man was my comfort. We were both walking alone in the desert. Shall we walk together? Did you know there is a silent voice between animals and humans? Not everyone hears it, but some do. Oh, I hear you weeping. I understand. You want to keep it? It's silent now to keep you safe from those who should not hear it. Soon, the sound will comfort you as it did when you were young and full of joy. It will no longer be the sound of grief. Is that you, dog? Cassius? <laughs> this is my oldest friend, Cassius. We fought together here. Taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I can't believe you're still here. I'm retired. They let me have the run of the place. Uh, nope, I haven't seen any wrinkly dogs like this around here. In fact, I've never seen anything like that anywhere. You sure it's a dog? <laughs> she's not an it, she's a she. Her name is Dim Sum. Hello, buddy. How you do? You been here long? Can you believe the size of that guy's nose? Hey, look at Tubby over there with the ears. I love that. <laughs> Will you follow them, or did you have to send away? <laughs> oh, I think I am in love. Time, my love. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh feisty! Ah! I like that. Miguel, leave that elephant alone. <laughs> oh. Are these sacrificial animals too? Sort of. They're forced to fight in the arena to entertain the Romans. But nobody kills them, right? Sometimes they have to kill each other just to survive. Just yesterday, those two lions were nearly dead from wounds. Then something very strange happened. This amazing human named Jesus came here alone to this place they all think is so unclean. He sat with the lions, he touched them, and look at them now. He must be a healer. Oh, it was much more than that. Those two are the best of friends. But they were made to fight each other almost to the death. It broke their spirit. That man healed them inside and out. Amazing. Just. Amazing. I'm sorry, I hate to spoil your reunion, but it's getting late and we really should get back. Miguel, 
Get yourself over here. <laughs> Looks like he's head over heels for Sophie. Ah, yes. It is me for you, and only you for me. It's faster this way. What are you doing? This is not a marketplace. It is a house of worship. Get him out of here. Jericho, please come with us. Hear that voice? That's him. I have to get in there. Impossible. Dogs are not allowed in the temple. Can I get up there instead? It's that man who saved me in the alley, and then out in the desert. A human saved you? What's he so mad about? All of you, you don't belong here. No, it's you who doesn't. Stop it, my God! Oh. Oh. No! Oh. 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 Look, all the animals are getting out. Are those sacrificial animals? Yes. It's the man who healed the lions. Doesn't look like a healer to me. I think I like that guy. Can he heal a lovesick heart? My Sophie has rejected me. I hope he doesn't get himself in trouble. The temple priests are very powerful. Guard, over here! Hurry! We must go now. He always snores like a bear when he's really tired. Come on. Where? I want to show you a bit of my world. Am I allowed in there? Hmm. Probably not. I'll admit, at this point, I would have followed her anyway. This is my private place. I can see why. When I was younger, I used to come up here, watch the world go by, and dream of great adventures. Why'd you stop? I'm tired of dreaming. I'm tired of living through humans. I want my own family. Oh. I'm so sorry about what happened to your family, Petra told us. I had hoped they were all sold instead of... But after you left, I found that... I found... This. It belonged to my mother. It's just like Jesus said. What did he say? I have to show you the place in the alley where Jesus healed me. I've been back there, and I can feel him in that place. Like, it's so peaceful there. I want you to feel that too. Right now? Yes, it has to be now. I found a way from here to there entirely in the tunnels. Follow me.
right here. I do feel it, but I don't know what to do with it. It's such a strange feeling. What are they saying about Jesus? Something isn't right. The temple guards and the soldiers will go together. Jesus will have no way out. He'll be in our custody very soon now. <gasps> Jericho, wait! What are you gonna do? I have to warn Jesus! Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. <gasps> Yet not my will, but yours be done. <sighs> not my will, but yours. Hello, my friend. You couldn't have come at a better time. I could use a friend right now. I'd lost so much, and this man had given me back my heart. I needed to save him. I loved him. My father was having a fine day when he created the likes of you. Come, sit down. I think you were sent to comfort me during these last minutes before I have to go. You see, I know what is going to happen. I'm leaving the Earth to return to my father so that all people might be saved. But that's enough of my story. You'll know it all soon enough. It's you I'm worried about. I know you've been hurt. It's written all over you. But you can't let anger and fear ruin your life. You will never be happy until you learn to love. You will never love until you forgive those who have hurt you in the past. <sighs> no, wait. I want you to do something for me. Promise me you won't hate anymore. You must learn to forgive. Now go, right now. You can't be found here, trust me. There he is.
happened? Are you all right? They, they've taken Jesus. I have to do something. What can we do to help? Do you know where he is now? No. No, and it's all my fault. I left when, when I should have protected him and... Tell us what happened. I followed the scent from the temple right to Jesus. I tried to warn him. I'm sure he understood me, but he refused to run away with me. It's like he wanted to get caught. I love my humans, but I stopped trying to understand them a long time ago. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, we'll just have to rescue him. Thanks, old friend. I knew I could count on you. We saw earlier. I have friends who live near him. Perhaps they could tell us where Jesus is. <laughs> Dim sum. Besides, we've got other problems. I don't see any problems. Do you, Jericho? Nope. No problems at all. They're not nearly so tough without their master around. Don't do that again. This way.
I lost her. We've got to save that puppy. But we've got to save Jesus, too. We don't know where they are. Then that's the first thing we've got to do. Locate Dim Sum and Jesus. I'll go ask my friends about Jesus. And I'll ask about Dim Sum at the Hippodrome. Psychosis will get top money for her there. If something awful doesn't happen first... But will you be safe if we split up? Probably not as safe as if we stuck together, but we're running out of time. I just don't want to lose... you guys. I mean, you're all the family I've got. We know what you mean. Jericho, go with Ulysses. I'll make better time alone. But then how will you find us? I'll follow your scent. It'll be easy. You smell pretty. Uh, okay, let's get this done. I asked around. Sorry, nobody's seen your pup. But everyone here is behind you. Just let us know what we can do. Let's think about this. Why hasn't Psychosis sold her already? Or just, you know. It's a trap. Of course it's a trap. I had that part figured out ages ago. You see, I know because... Oh! Ah! That's okay to chew, just don't swallow. Chameleons taste like anchovies. Any idea where Psychosis lives? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I like that. Would have to be someplace outside of town. Otherwise, I'd have heard about it. Wait a second. That gives me an idea. Cassius, thanks so much for your help. Any friend of Ulysses is a friend of mine. Miguel thought Dim Sum was bait to trap Ulysses, so Psychosis could sell him as a famous old fighter. But he might have hurt her, so I had to do something. I spy with my little eye. The bad guys. Our trap. Good chameleon. Voila. I'm gonna march right over there and punch me some pooches, huh? What are they doing to her? Well, if we're gonna do something, we better do it quick. Please tell me some good news. No. I'm sorry. It's terrible. I found Jesus. The court has found him guilty. Is he hurt? I don't know. I didn't see him. He's being held at the priest's palace. The palace? Well, that doesn't seem so bad. Jericho. The court wants him dead. They're taking him to Pilate at dawn to demand crucifixion. Jericho? What now? Look, I'll take care of Dim Sum. For Jesus, I've got another idea. What do you think? Can you do it? Piece of cake! What happens if you don't make it there in time? If I'm not there by dawn, start without me. I shall lead the charge of the Night Brigade! So, what's your big plan? Solo sneak attack. By yourself? Well, that's what solo means. I thought you actually had a plan. I'll improvise. And put Dim Sum's life at risk? No way! I'm coming with you! Absolutely not. This time I'm putting my paw down. I'm not gonna risk your life. Besides, you can't fight. But I can run like the wind. And? Let me create a diversion. I'll lead the war dogs out into the desert. No, no, not gonna happen. Look, I'm a Saluki. I'm one of the fastest animals on the planet. I can outdistance a bunch of silly war dogs without breaking a sweat. Maybe. Okay, let's do it. I'll just swoop in fast and low, grab Dim Sum, and get out of there before they know what hit them. Don't charge in there until I am way out in the desert. She's really something. Well, what are you looking at? After her, you lazy mutt! <laughs> Get a move on. Chin up. Chin up.
this out. Ah, Sophie, my love. I was wondering where you had gotten to. <laughs> I say, you, step to it. We're forming double lines here. It builds an elements in the front. What, what, chop, chop. It's okay. I've got you now. We'll take care of you, little one. Always. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> Where is Jericho? He should be here by now. I don't know, but it's almost dark. You better get a move on. Uh, five more minutes. We cannot go without Jericho. He said if he wasn't here by dawn, we should start without him. He might never come. You think he's... I have no idea, but I think he'd want us to follow the plan, no matter what. Okay, everybody. This is it! Be right back! Where do you think you're going? I'll catch up with you! That's our cue, everybody. Let's move out! some dog killer ever in a thousand years dogs will tremble when they hear my name psychosis <laughs> My baby sister could take you any day. <clears throat> I said my baby sister could take you any day. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
Take her. Go. Go. I'll buy you some time. No! Come with us! I got nothing left. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Yeah. Follow me. Here. This ought to do it. You could keep me away. Ha! How will we find Jesus? I will find him. I am the fastest. Oh, no one will know this happened. Not a word. Ever. Have you found Jesus? Jericho! He looks very bad, Jericho. Well, where? Uh, hello, oh, my, my dear, dear friend. friend. Please, listen. I know you see the suffering in my soul, and you see the darkness in the men who would hurt me. But my father did not send me into the world to condemn it, but so the world might be saved through me. Join me in forgiveness, my friends, and find peace with me. I will die, but I will be raised again. You may weep, but your pain will turn into joy. I will be with you always. Have courage. Now, please, you must go before the men come back. You guys go on. I'll catch up later. I understand that feeling now. I love him, too. Would you like me to wait with you? No, thank you. I've got to do this alone with my friend, my human friend.
Please, listen for the silent voice to find your human friend. You'll know it when you hear it. It's time to go now. Hold my love in your heart. <laughs> Quiet! It's the Roman governor. It's Pilate. What shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? I wash my hands of this man's blood. He told me this was going to happen, but I didn't believe him. Now my best friend was going to die. Forgive them. They know not what they do. Has Jericho come out of hiding? Not yet. I saw him in the bushes last night, by the fountain. Just his eyes shining. He didn't move. Give him time. Loving Jesus. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Broke his soul in pieces. Mm. He had never loved before, until he loved Jesus. You know we aren't going to find Dim Sum's mother. That you will be her mother. We've all known that for days now. What did you say about Dimmy? Do you really mean it? Let's go find Dim Sum, shall we? Jericho knows it, too, that Dim Sum should be with you. You two could be, a, uh, could be, a. Uh... Yes, I see now. And that could be too much for him. Do you think he'll run off, back on his endless travels, alone? He might. Ulysses, have you seen Jericho? I've got big news about 
big news. Some bad, some good. Like what? Bad news is, Psychosis is still alive. He's still down that well, yelling his head off. Good news is, he's gonna be dead real soon. He's not yelling so loud anymore. That's right. You go get him, big boy. Leave nothing to chance. Anybody? Rope. Throw the rope. Hey, hey, you there. Throw me the rope, huh? Yeah, and I, I got lots of money for you. Lots and lots of money. Ow! Stupid dog. You lose again. You lose. You die. You will never love until you forgive those who have hurt you in the past. No, 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 no. Nobody walks away from me. You come back, and we fight it out. That's how it's done. It's the only way. We could travel and see the places you've always dreamed about. Have adventures together. With or without our friends? Without, at first. And sometimes together. And of course, with Dim some, when she's bigger. And Dimmy can stay at the palace with Petra and the others for now. Then we'll come back to see Ariana and stay a while, and then... Whoa, now, hold on. Remember, I'm not a fancy kind of guy. I get sort of grumpy, and I, well, I don't know how to, how to be good. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Something has happened. Something wonderful. Jesus! <laughs> yes, my friend, it's me. I'm happy to see you, too. Uh, this is what I was trying to tell you. They may have destroyed my body, but my father has raised me up again. And now you know I will be with you forever. Even until the end of time. But now I must continue my journey. Don't forget me, Jericho. I promise I'll never forget you. I think I'm better than I've ever been before. And that's my story. 
I learned that when you forgive others, a space opens up in your heart. When I'm hurting, Jesus helps me. I feel his arms wrapped around me, and he's telling me nothing, absolutely nothing I do, will ever change his love for me. He is with me always.